Hi, I'm CJ, and I'm a Simulink developer. In this video, I'll share a new feature for events in the Schedule Editor that lets you use one event across the whole model hierarchy. Let's start by taking a look at the model. Here, we have a system with two sensors. The two sensors, which use the same reference model, are being used to detect when the temperature goes over the threshold and alarm the fault monitor. We now configure the sensors to send an event whenever it detects the temperature going above the threshold. We then define the event specification in the Schedule Editor. By default, the event is scoped only to the model reference it was created in. We have two of these sensors in the top model. Thus, in the Schedule Editor for the top model, we can see that we have two of these events. However, we want to represent these as the same event rather than as independent events. Now, let's change the scope of the event to be global. To make that change, we go back to the Reference Model Schedule Editor. Now, in the top model, let's update the diagram and see how this change is reflected in the Schedule Editor. Making the event global allows the same event to be used throughout the model hierarchy. Now, for the fault monitor to receive these alarms and execute the partition, we bind the broadcasting event with the partition. To do that, simply drag the event on top of the partition. To summarize, we created an event in the reference model and changed its scope to global. By doing so, we were able to unify this event and use it to drive the functionality of our fault monitor. Now, you can give this a try. Thank you.